We always knew uh, that there, there was a potential for an association between the disease locally in the oral cavity in the form mm -hmm. of periodontal disease and what happens systemically. And we could see that because once we would treat our patients and they'd go home, they'd feel so much better. Probably a lot of that had to do with the fact that they weren't uncomfortable, but maybe even more so because the bacteria not only stays locally, it also is mobilized into the systemic system through the bloodstream and it's carried to the kidney and the liver and the heart and the lungs. Now we know, based on some research that was done uh, and, uh, with Linda DeBose and some others more recently, that actually there is a correlation between what happens in the mouth and what happens in those organs. We find the local disease will get into the bloodstream and it will cause pathology in those four organs, the heart, the kidney, the liver, and the lungs, and comparing that to patients that don't have periodontal disease, it's pretty significant. So we know that the local disease can affect them systemically. And that being said, we think that maybe that those bacteria, when they get in the bloodstream, cause the patient to be uncomfortable as well, mm -hmm. or lethargic, or mm -hmm. um, because they have endotoxins associated with the wall that surrounds the bacteria. And when, the, when those die in the system, they cause uh, some changes. So um, we, we, we know that there may be a correlation between the longevity as well. We can't mm -hmm. say that. There's mm -hmm. no studies mm -hmm. that show that we, we're, we're actually causing our patients to live longer, but when you think about it, if you're eliminating a local infection that's affecting everything, sure. kind of makes sense, even though we'll probably never have research that shows that. Uh, it, it, it just makes sense from a theory standpoint.